Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a quick reading for the sign of Aries. Please like, click, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I really hope you do stay. I'd love it if you would. All right, so there's a lot of hesitation in this situation um, between you and someone, potentially, if this is going to resonate. Music is significant. I feel like you guys speak through music anyways, but I'm kind of feeling like someone might even write songs, but... I just heard I want to take you out to a concert. So maybe you've been to a concert with this person or they want to take you to one or you want to take them to one. Like, you know, that that would be kind of a fun thing. That's like a friendly thing to do anyways. Like first date would be nice. Someone could be thinking about first date type shit. But I feel like I'm stuck in the friend zone for some reason. I'm holding back because I don't really know what direction to go in. And part of that is due to this. Troubled waters are up ahead. Use your discernment with it's time to face your fears and move forward. Whoa. And move forward fear fearlessly. It's like bang. Oh, troubled waters. That could be really be a problem. Yeah, there could be a problem. I don't know what that is, but the bang has something to do with the bang. But anyways, this showed up reversed and then like kind of was doing that. So it's almost like avoiding a problem. Like I'm just letting it go because I don't want there to be a fucking problem. So someone could be doing that. Um, like I want to avoid trouble <laughs> ultimately. I don't want to cause any trouble. I don't want to be the reason for any trouble. I don't really feel like you'll be the reason for someone's trouble or they'd be the reason for yours. I feel like if there's an issue at hand, like if this is a problem, this is going to be a problem no matter what, no matter who says what, does what, whatever, you know, <coughs> it's just a fucking problem. That's what I don't know. That's what I feel. I got the chills from head to toe again. I keep getting the chills in these readings. And it's because spirit is like <sighs> just going right through. So some of you could be dealing with that in your eyes is here, which is kind of funny because we also have it's all in the eyes of the beholder. How do you perceive the situation? This is like the hangman energy. You know, it's like seeing things from a different perspective. So there's your perspective and then there's the other person's perspective and someone might be looking at things from a totally different standpoint now. I don't know. They see, they, I see the love in your eyes. It's all in your eyes. You got beautiful eyes. I just heard, I love your eyes. Do you see me? Do you see me? Do you see me like I see you? Something like that? Speaking without words. There's telepathic communication here. And then there was forever diamond after that. So this is a very significant connection. Burn those old love letters and set your heart free. So there is something or someone from the past that needs to go. And that could be where the problem is ultimately. But, you know. And it's funny because there could be problematic friends here. But I almost feel like someone in this situation is well known within their community. Or they just, they speak in the, they're a public speaker of some kind, whatever that means. Could even be tarot, but I feel like this is taking a lighthearted approach. Um, this could be a friend of yours. Someone was learning self-worth. Be empowered by valuing yourself. I feel like your confidence is just like radiating out of you yeah because you're ascending i feel like your love interest is ascending too music might be making them climb a little higher <clears throat> <clears throat> through the ascension process their throat chakra starting starting to open because another card in that deck is when you heal yourself you heal them too especially with these strong soul connections and stuff and i feel like that's kind of what's going on music is healing because look a band-aid right there someone needed to heal they need to rip the band-aid off already and fucking say something to do something that's what they feel please forgive me for taking fucking forever for any problems for any confusion but i was like earlier i'm like do i want a whiskey right now and i kept going mm. and i say whiskey is love wine is love whatever i say a lot of shit but that's what it represents and it did in my dreams and shit but i'm like do i mm -mm -mm -mm. So someone could be doing that, like, yes, I want it, but I can't touch it yet. Oh, I'm good. And I said, ah, fuck it. I did something now, so maintaining a sense of control over this situation. So that's why I wasn't moving forward, just so you know, or you were. But I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do this first, and then, uh, and then I'll have some. 
and it wasn't this. I was re-watching a video I did before, but crossroads. Somebody's at a crossroads. Uh, divergent paths, choices, confusion, follow your intuition. So really listen to your heart. You know, what do you want? I feel like someone's trying to do that. Like, which way do you want to go? Someone's afraid of choosing wrong. If I make the wrong choices, they're going to be a fucking problem for me, for you, for us, for whatever. Just surrender the outcome. Someone just wants to surrender to your love. I'm just saying. It could be a friend that's like, I want more. It's a masculine energy who is ascending. Um, you guys are connected spiritually. This person is trying to find you in the 5D. Like, we're talking telepathically. I'm sending you songs and all that stuff. Yes, what you hear is true. Basically, just trust. This person is trying to detach from fear of making the wrong choice and surrender the outcome. Like, just surrender to the connection. I feel like one of you has already surrendered. Like, you know, we have free will and I can't make you love me. So... We're just going to move forward. And if you come along for the ride, great. If you don't, they're coming along for the ride, I'm just saying. And if you don't, then wow, they really are. It's all about divine timing. I was going to say, and if you don't, and I can't finish it because you're not going to have to worry about that, basically. All right. Someone's holding back because they didn't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know. It's not, I don't know what cup to choose. It's... I don't know who to choose or whatever. It's, I don't, I want to make the right fucking choice for me, for you, for us. That's what I keep feeling. Like, I don't want to fuck this up. I don't want to fuck anything up. That's what I feel. <coughs> I can't mess this up. There are not, no wrong choices. Remember that. It's all life's lessons, whether you end up with this person or not. But I feel like they're coming in for, with a bang. Well, there was, I saw the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I also, oh, the fucking devil, damn it. Um, that could be fear. That could be fear. There's a lot down there. Um, but I also saw, well, there's a new beginning. That's what this is. The stupid, this one. <laughs> Fast communication. I don't know, the communication you've been waiting on is coming in. Maybe this person wants to beat the devil to the punch or something. Maybe this person wants to beat the fucking devil. Maybe you do. Who knows? All right. What is this? I feel like there is a risk that's going to be taken. Because somebody... It could be a Virgo or an Aries. I mean, it says Aries reading. But it's like I'm listening to myself. I'm following my intuition. Which is what needs to be done in this situation. So it's a calculated risk. Which is beautiful. But I just heard no risk, no reward. I got that Virgo's reading and the Hermes there. So then we have Capricorn. This person could have feared love. This person could have feared that you that you don't love them. This is kind of a, I don't I don't like the king in the reverse. Why is this the problem? Well, it's paired with the fucking devil. So some of you could have been tied to an unhealthy person or relationship but I feel like you know what I feel with this someone fears commitment I fear giving you my love I fear moving forward with this because I've dealt with these types of people before and you know I don't want to be cheated on okay if this is an ex of yours or if you're the ex this person is scared to move forward with you because you have cheated on them or they cheated on you or whatever there's fear there like I don't think I can trust you because you're just, you're the devil in sheep's clothing, you know? Someone needs to surrender their fear, especially if they want to move, if you want to move forward with this type of person or this ex. I don't know if he's changed or not. Well, there is healing energy here, so this person has, has healed something, but they want to heal shit with you. Oh, they fucking haven't healed. No, they haven't. They're a liar, liar, pants on fire. They're fucking watching you. There's betrayal here. This person wants to heal. I'm stuck. Please forgive me. I'm sorry for what it fucking did to you. I'm sorry that I betrayed you, that I hurt you. This person's watching. They might be watching somebody else hurt you. Like, I don't want this person to hurt you. I get it. Okay. 
because there is someone coming in who's problematic for someone this person your love interest is like all right i gotta just free fall i gotta trust because i see a fucking problem here and i don't want you to make the wrong choice i don't want there to be a problem don't heal shit with this one be another fire sign or capricorn just saying but this person wants to surrender to the connection they're gonna relinquish fear which is great all right this is i don't know we had a little bit of a roadblock there because i'm like damn it i'm running out of time someone feels that way the masculine feels that way i'm running out of time i don't want to lose you don't worry things will work out somebody wants to fucking apologize they feel like they hurt you. There's a painful ending here, though. I just heard I feel your pain. You guys have been through very similar things, but if this is really like a 5D connection, you are feeling this person's pain and they're feeling yours. Hmm. I want more on this Ten of Swords right quick because I don't feel like your love interest is bringing that energy in. They have been stabbed in the back a time or two. Oh, this one feels stabbed in the back, especially if there's competition. Like, oh, that motherfucker tricked me. Someone could have lied to your person to push them out or they did something. They betrayed them. Someone betrayed this masculine energy, whoever it is. Don't worry, justice will be served in that, but it's like... That's probably why this person left the building. There's Libra energy here too. They want to stand up for the connection now. They want to move things forward. Yeah, they want to move towards commitment. I want to defend my feelings. I want to defend this connection now. I want to move shit forward. Because I see what the problem is. I see who the problem is. And I don't want that motherfucker here. That's, that's what I feel with this. <coughs> yeah, be careful who you give to, Aries. Just saying. All right, let's get some advice right quick. Cause why is this shit? Like, I try to do it quick, and then it doesn't happen that way. You know? It is what it is, right? This is quicker than usual. My readings are like an hour long, normally. I'm just looking at the two of cups. It just looks... Aww. It's like moving forward. Yeah, that's what they want to defend. I'm standing up for our love. I will defend you. I will defend this connection. It's all about timing. I don't want to let this slip away. Someone might fear that. Maybe they did let it slip away and they're like, crap. I better surrender now. Oh... Flipping something. I don't remember. This person was very disciplined. I'm just saying, like, they're very rigid before. But music flew in. Maybe music is flying into them. It's making them think. Um, surrender, which is what I said. They want to surrender to the connection. I can release my need to control. Yeah, this person was controlling how things move forward ultimately but there is somebody else who is controlling change i understand there could someone's controlling change i don't want shit to change well guess what change is here so it is what it is ouch someone doesn't want it i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so there is forward movement here you provide per you provide a sense of peace within this person yeah, because this person was pretty prideful, I'm just saying. They're grateful for you. They're trying to accept what was, what is, and move past the past, basically, whether it involves you or not. Um, it's like I'm trying to accept the things I cannot change and welcome in the things that I can, basically. This person regrets something, something within a friendship. Like, they re regret not accepting your friendship not accepting your cup whatever like i don't know this person pushed you away 
because of their pride. Like, they weren't willing to change themselves. They weren't willing to change their situation, this situation, whatever. But I feel like they, they're worried that they can't now, that they failed. Don't worry, success is here. This person didn't fail, things will work out. Yeah, success wants to come out again. You will be successful. Just surrender to the outcome and take a leap of faith. But that's what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. I love you guys. Peace.